Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another Polish Pickup Wishlist with me. This month is themed junk food, which is very dangerous for me because that is food themed. Polishes are like one of my favorite inspos. So I have a feeling this is going to be a difficult month for me to narrow it down. As you can see, I have my billion tabs open. So let's get right into it. First, we have Alchemy Lacquer's Lil Sweet, and this one is inspired by Diet Dr. Pepper. Lil Sweet is a medium gray Crelly uh, with blue undertones, pink, red, orange shifting shimmer, and is packed with a ton of holographic flakes. There are 200 available. I like this purpley gray. I really like a taupey kind of color. So I think I'm going to add this one to my wish list. I don't know if it'll make the final cut, but I'm definitely thinking about it. We have all mixed up lacquers, all jacked up. This is inspired by Mountain Dew. It is a teal base loaded with a green purple shift shimmer. 200 are available. Um, I do have quite a few multi-chromes that are kind of similar, so I will pass on this. This is by a Pipla. This is called Absolute Black. There are 200 available and it's just a black stamping polish. I have a black stamping polish, so I'm going to pass. Ooh, this one's fun. Hard as Nails Gobstopper. All right. It obviously inspired by Gobstoppers. It is a white Crelly packed with blue, pink, gold, and bronze flakes. There are 150 available. I like that the flakes are metallic. However, I feel like the metallic flakes don't really align with the gobstopper inspiration and it looks like if you don't hit them in the right light they do look a little bit pale so i'm gonna pass Ooh, atomic polish sour apple rings i love a neon green it's inspired by one of their favorite candies gummy sour apple rings it is a yellow leaning green neon polish loaded with aurora pigment that shifts gold to green opaque in one to two coats looks like there's no cap and i I'm a little bit tempted by this one. However, I know I have neon greens like this, and so I shouldn't, but I will add it to the wish list because I, I, I'm thinking about it, but I have to remind myself and like take a look at my swatch sticks. BCB Lacquer's Double Stuffed, inspired by Oreos. It is a blue Crelly with blue and purple flakes, black flakes, and hollow flakes. There are 300 available. This is really pretty. It looks like it has a lot of depth to it with those flakes in there, and I do love an Oreo. Um, I don't, usually I love a matte flaky. I don't know. I don't like this one matte, but I definitely like it glossy. And I like the really big flakes in there. So I'm going to think about that one. Bedford and Grove glass and a half of milk. I don't know why that just grosses me out. Like thinking about a glass of milk. <laughs> Inspired by the purple and silver foil from the old Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate bars. Deep purple base with gold and purple flecks and a holographic finish. A hundred are available. I think that this one looks more like a metallic-y purple than what I'm into. So I am going to pass. Um, were the, oh yeah, I guess it's purple and silver. So I was going to say, were they really this dark? But I feel like Cadbury purple's brighter, but I also don't remember. Ooh, this one's pretty. Bluebird Blast Off. I like this photo too. This is a really like well-composed photo. I guess I don't know anything about photography, so I could be wrong, but I think it looks nice. Inspired by Lisa, a.k.a. Cosmetic Sanctuary and I's favorite guilty soda, Mountain Dew's Baja Blast. That is the best. I love Baja Blast. Uh, it is a bluebird shattered hollow formula and a pale Baja Blast aquamarine mint with an effervescent pink to hold shifting shimmer. 400 are available. I have a couple bluebirds that are not this light, but in a similar tone. So I definitely don't need them, but I love the inspiration. I like that the color kind of lines up. Not exactly, but you know, it's, I can see the inspiration there. I like this formula though. It's really pretty. However, like I said, I have similar ones, so I will pass this one. Okay. Danny Vienna's Pebble Road. Look at how precious this is. I like lost my mind. It's inspired by Fruity Pebbles, a uh, clear base with clear holographic glitters and a colorful mix of irregular glitters. 500 are available and you guys are going to have to fight me for those because I think I'm buying two of this. I'm buying one for me and then one for my sister who loves Fruity Pebbles. So um, jot that down. It's just, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. Danny Vienna is an artist, okay? Vanessa Molina, Purple Thunder, inspired by Mountain Dew in the Purple Thunder version. I've never had that kind. I, when I was younger, I was like obsessed with trying every single new Mountain Dew that came out. Now I have my, 
I have my select few that I like. I like uh, Code Red, regular. I like Baja Blast. And I like, what's the purple one? What's the really good? Uh, Pitch Black. I like those four. Um, not that anybody cares. <laughs> this is a neon purple jelly base with Aurora Shimmer, pink reflective glitter, iridescent flakies, and a green magnetic micro flake. 500 are available. It is pretty, but I just don't think that I would want to put in the effort to magnetize this lately. Like I love magnetics, but lately I'm just like, I don't feel like magnetizing stuff right now. Going through phases. Ooh, very pretty. Cadillac's Midnight Galaxy, inspired by the cake Midnight Galaxy by Nick Mac Nick Macrides, Macrides, aka the Scran line. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> Intense deep blue shimmer base with iridescent flakes and a turquoise green to blue metal or magnetic. Sorry, no cap. I do see it looks like it's kind of a weaker magnetic. It's not like super strong. Oh, this must be the cake. Wow, that's a really cool cake. Um, I'm not gonna pick this up just because, like I said, I'm not feeling like buying any magnetics right now. I've got enough. Cameo Color Lacquers Shake That Laffy Taffy, inspired by Sparkle Cherry Laffy Taffy. It is a fluorescent coral crelly with scattered hollow sparkle, purple to blue shifting shimmer, and blue to red metallic flakes and silver hollow micro flakes. There are 105 available. Do you guys remember when they used to have that watermelon Laffy Taffy that had like quote unquote real watermelon seeds in it? I used to love that as a kid. This one isn't really screaming my name, so I'm going to pass. Ooh, Cleona Cosmetics Salt Water Melon Taffy. This one's really pretty. It is inspired by watermelon flavored salt water taffy. I love salt water taffy. It is a vivid mint green curly base with a pink peach lime shifting shimmer. It is intentionally sheer but packed with iridescent shimmer to maintain the strength of the shift. They recommend three even coats to build opacity or use a tinted similar colored base uh, to layer. Uh, one to two coats. Topped with one to two coats, sorry. I have something kind of similar from Cleona. I think they have one called Lineage that it's not the exact same color, but it's close enough, I think, if memory serves me right, that I don't need this one. Color Spectrum Polish, Dunk Those Ruse, <laughs> inspired by Dunkaroos. Oh my God. When they brought those back, I was like so excited. I hunted for them because I remember those as a child. A violet base with teal to purple shimmer, iridescent flakes, purple sparkle sparks, purple sparks, and scattered hollow flakes. Uh, again, this one's not calling my name. I do have a few that are in a similar tone, so I will pass. Coloris de Carol Glitzy Glaze. Now this one I saw in the Facebook group and it might get me. So I usually don't buy thermals. You guys know that but I might make an exception for this one. I don't know why this one has a hold on me, but it's inspired by a chocolate donut with sprinkles. It is a brown to colorless thermal with small holographic chameleon glitter. 350 are available. It's just such an unusual like brown with glitter combo. And I don't know, I, I'm thinking about it. Crystal Knockout Sugar Spun, inspired by Cotton Candy, a strawberry pink to peachy gold thermal, orange gold shifting shimmer, orange copper iridescent flakies, and pink and light blue matte glitters, no cap. This one's really pretty. It reminds me of a peach ring. Um, like I said before, I don't really buy thermals, and that one is really the only, the previous one was really the only exception that I'm willing to make right now. So I'm going to pass. Ooh, this one's pretty. Cupcake Polish Fun Fetty. I'm really on the fence about this one. I saw this on the Facebook group as well. Inspired by Funfetti Cake, a white curly nail polish filled with pink, or with red, pink, gold, green, and blue metallic flakes. This is more what I kind of like the one of the gobstopper one to look like, I think. I'm not a big white curly wearer. That's the thing. And I wonder if that Fruity Pebbles one might just, I could just layer that over a white if I really wanted to. I'm going to add this to the wish list and kind of look at both of those and decide. Oh my gosh, this one's pretty. Cuticula, a Skittle Obsessed. Inspired by Skittle Gummies. It is a lilac jelly base with large particle blue purple shimmer and green blue shifting glass flakes. It doesn't look like there's a cap. Cuticulous flakies are something else. I gotta say, like they are fantastic. I'm adding this one to my wish list. I didn't see this one before. Davine Lacquer, delicious. Inspired by Nerds, it is a slightly creamy blurple base with pink, gold, green shifting shimmer. 240 are available. It's pretty similar in color to the one I just uh, exited out of. And I like the flaky one better. Ooh. 
Dreamland Lacquer Shake Your Shamrock, inspired by the bright green seasonal treat that is the Shamrock Shake. It is a semi-bleached neon green curly base filled with blue shimmer. The cap is a thousand. <laughs> That's a pretty big cap. It's a nice color, but it's a like the minty aspect of it. I'm not sure. I I'm not a big mint green person. I like the underlying bright green, but not this like blue that's adding it, that it's making it kind of lean and mintier. So I'm going to pass. DRK Nails do not, or Donut Give Up, inspired by donuts. Um, I love DRK Nails. I have a few, but how is it inspired by donuts? Like, I don't see that. And it says they bring another magnetic called Donut Give Up, inspired by donuts, one of my favorite junk foods. So not so junk for me. A magenta micro flake magnetic mixed in aqua to blue to bl purple aurora pigment. Um, let's see. Looks like there are 400 available. I'm going to pass on this one. It's just not calling my name. Emily Damali, Just the One. This is inspired by Cupcakes. A dusty purple filled with re silver reflective glitters and a large particle green shimmer will dry to a textured finish if top coat is not applied due to the amount of glitter and it will most likely require two coats of top coat for a smooth finish. 320 are available. Apparently this guy is a little bit gritty. Um, it's not my tone of purple. It's not vibrant enough for my particular liking, so I'm going to pass. Ethereal Yummy Bear, inspired by Gummy Bears. It is a bright magenta base filled with pink to orange shifting shimmer and small holographic flakes. No cap. Not a big magenta person, so I'm going to pass. There's only one picture right now. I wonder if they're going to add more later. Ooh, Fair Maiden Sweet Tooth. This is a pretty, pretty pink. It is inspired by a yummy pink frosted drip cake. Sweet Tooth is a bright pink filled with red, orange shifting shimmer and hollow flake. It looks like there's no cap. This is my kind of pink. I love a pink with the orange running through it. I don't know what it is. Adding that. Femme Fatale, I Spy With My Skittle Eye. It's inspired by Skittles. It is a super vibrant berry pink jelly topped off with fruity red copper shifting shimmer. And then they have blue iridescent flakies and cobalt magnetic or er, metallic glitter. Sorry. This color is ideal in three coats. We recommend finishing with a glitter suitable top coat. Uh, 250 are available. I am not feeling this one. It's something about the shape of the glitters that kind of looks like, like chicken box. I don't know. So I'm going to pass. Garden Path Lacquers, Shoe In for Prom Queen, inspired by one of their favorite late 90s films, Darren Stein's masterpiece, Jawbreaker. This is a almost neon matte magenta filled with shifting aurora shimmer, purple iridescent flakes, and black metallic micro flakes. It dries to a matte finish, but can be topped with a glossy top coat, no cap. This looks kind of similar to the one I just exited out of, so I'm going to pass on this one too. Girly Bits, I've had the lime of my life, inspired by Sour Patch Kids. It is a bright lemon lime color with a pop of orange shimmer, a healthy serving of pink, orange, gold color shifting flakes, plus a light sprinkle of holographic particles. 300 are available. Um, This one doesn't look super wild to me. I feel like I have quite a few similar to this. And I don't see any hand swatches, so I'm going to pass. Glisten and Glow Spicy and Sweet, inspired by the most delicious spicy, sweet, chili flavored Doritos. Oh yeah, that does look like that chip bag. I like that flavor. A dark purple base loaded with purple, pink, and orange, and yellow, and green Aurora Shimmers. It looks like there's no cap. I don't wear this tone of purple like ever. I, I have so many, and I don't know why I bought those so many. So I'm going to pass. Graceful Nail Polish, Just Eat It. It is a light green, blue, uh, light green, green, blue shifting Aurora Shimmer with rainbow iridescent crystal color shifting flakes. 130 are available. Mm, I just don't know if I need something like this. I feel like I have a lot of shifty polishes in this color. Oh, this one's kind of cute. Hearts and Promises Cotton Candy. It is a pale blue polish with pink shimmer and pink purple blue metallic flakes. 300 are available. I definitely see that this is light blue. It looks almost white, but it's definitely light blue. This is really precious and I like the cotton candy inspiration. I think I'm going to add that. Heather's Hues, is it M or M is for macaron. And it is inspired by a junk food I could eat every day for the rest of my life. A lavender curly kissed with iridescent blue violet microflakes and filled with a variety of purple and silver glitters. 
There's no pictures up right now, so I can't really see how it looks on the nail. It looks like it's a nice color, but uh, I'm not really wanting all these hex glitters right now. Indie by Patty Lopez, Pop Sugar, inspired by Milkshake Candy. What is Milkshake Candy? Because I feel like I want one. It is a magnetic multi-chrome with iridescent flakes and purple, pink, gold Aurora shimmer. 300 are available. Just like I said earlier, passing on magnetics this time around. So I'm going to pass. Ooh, that's cute. Jen and Berries, there can only be one. I like this. Inspired by Mint Chocolate Cannoli. It is a minty green with a mix of white glitters, scattered black flakes, and a sprinkle of silver flakes. I like the circle. I, I like a circular white glitter. I don't know why. I'm going to add that. Dior Couture Nom Nom Nom. It is inspired by various junk food. This is a thermal, so that's an auto pass for me. But it is taffy violet when it's cold to bubblegum pink when it is warm. And it has a color shifting micro glitter and gold orange green shifting shimmer. No cap. Kathleen & Co. Fun Dip. This one I think I'm adding to my wish list. I love Fun Dip. Oh my gosh. Uh, it is a neon aqua base loaded with green shimmer. There's no cap. This is vibrant. I really like that shimmer running through it. I'm adding that. KB Shimmer Straight to the Pint. And it is inspired by blizzards and ice cream. This reminds me of like a bubblegum ice cream. It is, let's see... A pale pink curly base accented with a mix of small to medium glitters in light purple, hot pink, and blue. And it is buildable in two to three coats. No cap. This is very, very cute. I don't think I would wear this particular color, but I do think it's really precious. Lemming Lacquer, the voodoo that they do, or dough nut, I guess. It is inspired by voodoo donuts, or voodoo doll donuts. It is inspired by the Voodoo Doll Donut from Voodoo Donuts. Each part of the donut is represented in my polish, the chocolate frosting, raspberry jelly filling, and some sparkle for the magic that makes it taste so good. It is a chocolate jelly base with fuchsia to green to gold, multi-chrome shimmer, and holographic sparks. There are 200 available. It's just not my color, so I'm going to pass, but I want to try Voodoo Donuts. Every time I go to Vegas, I'm like, we need to go, and then we just never do. Ooh, this is pretty. Lily Pad Lacquer, Licorice All Sorts. It's inspired by licorice. Black Jelly with Pink, Green, Gold, Orange, Crystal, Chameleon Flakes. 150 are available. I am thinking, I like this, but would I wear it? I'm going to add it and think about it because I, I have a weird aversion to wearing like darker colors right now. Lucky 13 Lacquer, Eat Me, inspired by Alice in Wonderland. It is a minty blue base filled with tons of fuchsia, orange, gold, green, color shifting shimmer, scattered hollow, and a rainbow of color shifting crystal flakes. Glows bright green in the dark. It does not include a UV flashlight, and 110 are available. Not my type of green, so I will pass. Lumen Pink Pink Sugar. This is inspired by... Pink Starburst. It is a true bubblegum pink base with a shimmering pink to magenta shift and tons of sparkle. 600 are available. This definitely is a cute pink. I wonder if Nick's Polish would like this. He's obsessed with pink. Um, it looks like it could be a little bit on the sheer side. So I think I'm going to pass on this one just because I have a lot of pinks like this. Linby Designs, It Ain't Easy Being Cheesy, inspired by Cheetos. You guys know how I feel about Cheetos. I love them. Bright orange jelly base filled with red to gold to orange shifting shimmer, flakies, and hollow flakes. Looks like there's no cap. This one's fun. I like that. I think we don't see a lot of cool oranges on polish pickups, so I think I'm going to add that. MJ Lacquer, Now and Later. This is inspired by, obviously, the candy now and later. It is a solar polish. It is aqua colored when you're inside. So it looks like this inside. And then it is a twilight color when you are in sunlight. So it would be like this color outside. It has red to orange aurora shimmer, fuchsia, fuchsia gold, orange, and lime color shifting flakes. 110 are available. That's fun. I feel like we don't see a lot of solar polishes and like the now and later naming convention with that is really, really cool. I think I'm interested. Moonshine Manny, Once You Pop, inspired by sour cream and onion Pringles. 
I hate sour cream and onion. I don't know what it is. I don't like, it's not, I like the flavor, but I just think about, they smell weird. They just don't smell very good. So I don't want to eat them. <laughs> um, once you pop is a metallic chive green filled with iridescent flakies, shifting orange, gold, green, hollow flakies, and a gold green magnetic glow. So I guess this one is magnetic. I don't see that represented here, so I'm not sure, but 200 are available. MTK Designs Wrap Your Junk, <laughs> inspired by newspaper wrapped purple potato chips and Cheetos. That is very specific. Satin or slightly matte pale fluorescent gray saturated with purple to blue sparkles and shimmer, then an overindulgent amount of gold, copper, ruby, amethyst, and green, purple, blue iridescent flakies with a dash of hollow flash, stronger wind glossed, and finished with a side of Cheetos dust glow in the dark yellow orange. Looks like there's no cap. This is definitely one of those kind of like taupier purple colors that I like. It's really flaky heavy and I like that it glows orange. I'm gonna think about that one. Music City Beauty Nacho Business inspired by Nacho Cheese Doritos. This does straight up look like a Dorito. Like I, it looks like somebody made a Dorito nail wrap and put it on their nail. There are hundred available. It's an orange base with red to gold shimmer and black micro shreds. I think that this is definitely a cute concept, but there's a yellow that I want way more that I know I would buy over this one. So I'm going to pass. Nail Artisan Cosmetics Grapeness in a Can. This is interesting. It is inspired by a grape soda drink and it is a punchy purple polish with a striking linear hollow, sweet helping of multi-chrome flakes to really put the pop in this soda. A hundred are available. So it looks like we have some different lighting shot. So this looks like uh, a brighter light here, which this is the color that I like, but this is like, it looks like a completely different purple. So I'm not really sure. I wish that they like labeled. So I knew like what kind of light it was. So I'm going to have to pass because really this is the only one This like vibrant kind of bluish color almost is the one I would want. Nailed it. You bake me happy. It is partnering with wildflower lacquer and they chose cupcakes together and it is inspired by the frosting. It is a sheer violet base packed with pink to gold shifting shimmer and hollow flakes. 300 are available. It's like kind of that lilac-y, icy, metallic-y purple. So it's not my jam, so I'm gonna pass, but I do like these kind of like little flaky things in there. Oh, this looks like a strawberry. Nails by Virgo Moon, Punchki Malino, I think, I'm not sure. It is inspired by the only junk food Achilles heel I have, Festive Raspberry Punchki, the perfect choice for Fat Tuesday. Like its namesake, this polish is a raspberry jelly base with gold reflective glitters and brown hex glitters. A hundred are available. I think that this, like, I don't like a really raspberry or like kind of berry red. I like a very bright, punchy, like candy apple red. So I will pass. Night Owl Lacquer Jalapeno Face. Inspired by jalapeno flavored snacks. It is a blackened purple with vibrant multi-chrome shimmer that shifts bright green cyan, cobalt, and violet. That looks like there's no cap. I just am not a big like plain multi-chrome buyer these days, so I will pass. But it is really, I like that picture there. That's cool. Noodles Nail Polish Dunky Junkie inspired by Dunkin' Donuts. It is a white curly with magenta and orange matte glitters and a touch of fine silver hollow glitters. Dries with some texture. Apply one to two coats of top coat for a smooth finish. I am not a Dunk Like, I've never really gotten coffee from Dunkin's. Like, I always go to Tim Hortons or Starbucks. So I'm not like a Dunkin's girl. Everybody's always like, they never make my coffee the same way twice at Dunkin's. And that like freaks me out. I want, I want consistency, you know? Uh, this is kind of, I know it's, it looks kind of pink, but it's like a white curly and I don't wear those very often. So I'm going to pass. Polish Lucky Charms, inspired by cereal marshmallows. It is a pale lavender packed with rose copper green shifting iridescent flakes. This is stunning. It's beautiful. It reminds me of like the, like the clear, like it's like clear plastic that sometimes gifts get wrapped in, but it's kind of iridescent. Like it looks like that. I would never wear it because it's so light, but it is really, really pretty. Paint it pretty polish. Bet you can't eat just one. Inspired by Lay's sour cream and onion chips. More sour cream and onion. Uh, it is a teal base with shifting shimmers. 150 are available. I 
am not a big teal wearer these days, just like darker colors. I, it's really pretty, but I just wouldn't wear it. So I have to pass. I can't be spending money for no reason. Painted Polish Animal Style. This is an auto wish list ad. This color is so pretty to me. I Somebody said it reminded them of McDonald's more than In-N-Out because I mean, like that makes sense. I don't have In-N-Outs here, but whenever we go to Vegas, we do always go to In-N-Out. This is just, the yellow is just perfect. I love the red mix with it. It is a yellow mustard curly with red metallic flakes. There are 400 available. I will be buying this. Pampered Polishes Sour Sweet Gone, inspired by Sour Patch Kids. A white jelly leaning curly base loaded with red, yellow, green, and blue metallic flakes. We have quite a few of these styles just with like different shapes or sizes of flakes, it seems. I like the one with the bigger flakes that I added earlier, so I think I'll pass on this one. But if you like a smaller flake, this one's for you. Oh, this is cute. Paradox Polish Just Chillin'. Uh, let's see. This is definitely a thermal. It is pastel purple when it's cold and pink when it's warm. It has white, yellow, purple, pink, watermelon star glitters and neon blue and neon pink hex glitters, scattered hollow, red, pink, and hollow bar glitters and red, pink, iridescent, shifty flakes. So this one has a lot going on in it. I'm gonna pass because of the thermal aspect, but it is very cute. Penelope Lowe's Blueberry Gumdrops. This is a very pretty color. It's inspired by beautiful blueberry gumdrops. It is a deep, dark, blurple magnetic. 700 are available. I love this color. It's very purple. In this picture, it's giving thin blue line. <laughs> Um, so I don't know about that, but I, I do really enjoy this color here. It's just the, I, like I said, I'm not going to buy magnetics this month. Ooh, this is pretty Phoenix cotton ice. It is inspired by the refreshing and sweet Kona ice. Cotton ice has a glowy and vivid shimmer that shift turquoise blue violet with a mix of neon pink matte glitters. A thousand are available. I kind of want this. I'm going to add it to the wish list. There's one that I have that I think might look a little bit similar, so I have to double check that, but let's keep going. I like this color. Pinnacle Polish All Lime, inspired by Lime Skittles. It is a neon green base with scattered holographic microflakes. Because of the opaque green base, the hollow effect isn't as prominent and the flakes look mostly silver. 150 are available. I like this color. I want this in a cream. I don't want the excess stuff in there, but I want this as a cream. So I'm going to pass, but I'm going to also try to find a cream in this color. Polished for Days, fantastic. Inspired by shark gummies. I do love gummies. A teal base with bright blue to purple shifting iridescent shimmer and holographic flakes. Looks like there's no cap. Um, I don't know. I Oh, I like that they took the picture with the shark gummies. Now I just want shark gummies. I don't know that I want the... Metal it looks kind of metallic-y, I guess. I don't know. It's not calling for me right now. And I do have more than enough blues in my life, so I'm going to pass. Psych Minerals Deep Dish Rain Supreme, inspired by Lumin Lou Malnati's Deep Dish Pizza. It is a red to gold multi-chrome with green at the extremes. I don't love a red to gold multi-chrome, so I will pass on this. Um, it looks like there is a cap of a hundred though, if you are interested. Red Eyed Lacquer Snap Crackle Munch, inspired by Rice Krispie Treats. It is a white crelly hollow with uh, a white crelly hollow flaky bomb with blue teal shifting shimmer. 200 are available. It's, you know, not for me. I'm not a white polish person, but definitely this looks like it could be fun if you are. Uh, but I will pass. Red Panda Lacquer, Diet or Light, It Tastes Right, inspired by Diet Coke or Coke Light in Europe. I was not a Diet Coke girly. I thought it was nasty. And then I tried to start eating healthier and I still wanted uh, like a carbonated beverage here and there. And so I was like, let me try the mini Diet Cokes. And now, unfortunately, I'm a Diet Coke girly. So <laughs> I am not sure i want this particular polish let's see it's a sheer gray with red orange aurora shimmer and a touch of chrome pigment i think i like the gray tone but it's the shimmer that i'm not a fan of paired with this color so i will pass there are 105 available restored by polish uh chic chick and it is inspired by party cake peeps those i wanted to try but i didn't 
um let's see opaque in two to three coats it is a delicate ivory crelly with multicolored iridescent flakes and aurora shimmer there are a hundred available definitely too pale for my taste but i like the little chick on the bottom that's cute rogue lacquers make it pink i love this it is inspired by a pink starburst it is a bleach neon pink with gold glass flakes um i actually really like this and i like rogues flakies and that's all I have to say about that. We're adding that to the wish list. Oh, I like this too. Sassy Cats Lacquer Cotton Candy. All right, I'm adding that. I don't even have to think about it. Inspired by blue and pink cotton candy. It is a blue base with a glowy pink shimmer. 200 are available. I know I have polishes that look like this. I don't need this. But it's already on the wish list, so we can't do anything about it, you guys. I don't know. Uh, I kind of want that. Sassy Sauce Polish Fire in the Hole. Inspired by Takis. Hmm, you know, I don't know how they mean this, but I don't know if I like the name. <laughs> it is a watermelon shade based with red, gold, green shimmer and magenta blue twinkling micro glitter to add extra sparkle. 400 are available. You know, I really like Takis, but every time I see them, I think about Nikocado Avocado shoveling them in his face and I lose my appetite. So... I don't know. It's just not my tone of red. I guess it's more pink. It's more watermelon. But I do have kind of a bright pink from Sassy Sauce already, so I don't think I need this. Sovereign Snack Snack Attack. This is a very delicate color. Inspired by my youngest son, Jack, and his favorite junk food, Sour Gummy Worms. Well, Jack, you got the right idea. It is a pale neon blue with pink shimmer and silver reflective glitter. This reminds me of Cinderella. This is a very Cinderella blue, in my opinion. It's very pretty. I have a color that looks just like this, minus the reflective glitter, though, so I'm going to pass. Ooh, this is interesting. Stella Chroma, the greatest. It is inspired by Greater Blackberry Chocolate Chip Ice Cream. It is a creamy raspberry shade with the perfect amount of black flakies. Applies like a dream and is opaque in two coats. Looks like there's no cap. You know, I usually don't reach for this tone of purple. But this looks inch. I like this. I like the combo here. So I think I'm going to add that to the wish list. Swamp Gloss No Chill, inspired by Bring Your Own Cup Slurpee Day. A bright blue jelly with matte hexes, subtle shimmer, and tons of iridescent flakes. 300 are available. Mm hmm. I don't know. I don't like the hex glitters mixed with the flakies on this one. So I think I'm going to pass, but I do like the depth that it has and it looks cute, glossy, sweet and sour lacquer, sour than sweet, sorry, sour than sweet. I don't know why I pronounce it like that. Inspired by Sour Patch Watermelon Gummies. It is a sheer pale pink with a strong shimmer, shifting gold, green, orange, 300 are available. I love sweet and sour, but this is just not my vibe. Like I just am not that like orangey tone shift. I don't know what it is. Like, I just am not a big gold and gold shift person. And it's very, very sheer. It looks like, so I'm going to pass on this one. Sweetheart polish pucker up. This is inspired by the old timey raspberry heart candies found in a glass dish sitting on a side table at their great grandma's house. It is a pinky red glitter bomb with both metallic and hollow glitters in varying sizes with a red to gold Aurora shimmer. 150 are available. This one looks like it would be like a good Valentine's day glitter. If you're into that, um, I'm not into this tone of reddish pink, so I'm going to pass. Oh, this is weird. I like this. Watcha Candy Donuts, inspired by donuts. Again, like this doesn't look like a donut. Maybe for me, because I just, when I think of donuts, I think of like a chocolate donut. Like <laughs> I'm just like colorful. It's That's not a donut. Shimmer and flake iridescent with colored matte glitter, green, pink, yellow, and violet. 400 are available. This is fun. I like this. Adding that. Wildflower Lacquer Cake It Easy. Uh, inspired by chocolate cupcakes. It is a dark chocolate brown with red to orange to gold shifting shimmer. Looks like there's no cap. This one is pretty, but I just don't think that I would wear it very often. Like I said, I'm not gravitating towards super dark colors right now, so I'm going to pass. And then this one is Zombie Claw's Flamin' Hottie. It is inspired by Flaming Hot Cheetos Limon, and it is a white base mixed with red and neon green glitters and flakies. 100 are available. I gotta tell you guys, to be honest, this is very tempting to me. I really like this color combo, 
but I know that I will not wear it because I don't wear white crellies. And it's like, as much as I want this, like this shot right here, it kills me. It's so pretty, but I know I won't wear it. So I should not buy it, but I want it, but I'm going to pass. Okay. And then there was just like, there was three hand and like miscellaneous items that I wanted to show you guys because I was interested in them. So first we have the hand and body scrub by KB Shimmer called Fruity Loops. And it is inspired obviously by Fruit Loops. I'm sure it says colorful cereal, but we all know. And it says it's a sweet and punchy orange scent that gives way to notes of juicy ripe berries, a hint of tart tangerine, uh, and a sugary vanilla note. And I just, it sounds delicious. I have been kind of getting into sh the sugar scrubs and like I use like a body scrub typically, and I just use that on my hands, but I want to try the KB Shimmer hand one because a lot of people have recommended them and it's just like, it looks delicious. I bet it smells delicious. I'm sure it probably doesn't taste good, but I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. I, I think I'm going to get this. So I'm going to add that to the wish list. And then this is an absolute must. This is a cuticle balm by Bluebird Lacquer and it is Baja Blast scented. Like, are you kidding me? I'm getting that. Don't even come for me. Like I have to have this. And then this is not something I'm going to get because I have like a lot of bags and I don't need any more. But I just wanted to show you guys this because this like punched me in the face with nostalgia. These are so cute. It's a wristlet like clutch thing. And they're using the old Tootsie Pop wrappers. And I don't know, this reminds me when I was a kid, my mom worked at the bank and they always had these Tootsie Pops out and my mom would always give me one. And I would get to play on the typewriter in the back because they, they had a typewriter for some reason. I'm not like, I'm only 30. Nobody was using typewriters back then. I don't know why they had that, but I always wanted the chocolate Tootsie Pop. And I, I still to this day love them. And I love this wrapper. I don't know. I just thought that this fabric was so cute. And now I've kind of talked myself into wanting one. I, I cannot, I cannot buy this. I don't need it. I have no use for it. And the other thing too, is like, it's, it'll be a mystery of which color you get. And for me, I specifically only want the brown one because that's the one that I would eat. But there are 50 available. And I just wanted to showcase this because it is, it's just so cute to me, like, and very nostalgic. So with all that said, let's take a look at my wish list and see how much damage we're going to do. So we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 25. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. These are from last time. So what did I say? 25. So we have 23, 6, 12, 18. Yeah, 23. Okay. So I usually try to only do two polishes for each, I don't know, each month. Um, because I want to make sure that I have enough money for later in the month. This month, I can already tell you that's not going to happen. I'm going to be doing a little bit more than that. The absolute musts are going to be this Danny Vienna. So there's, I'm going to buy two of those because I want one for my sister. Um, I'm absolutely buying Animal Style. So that's three polishes already. And then I have to narrow down the rest of them and I'm buying the Sugar Scrub and the Cuticle Balm. So I'm getting at least five things at a minimum this time around. And one of them's not for me. One of them's a gift, but like still, I, I still have to, I'm pulling that. Actually, I do have a gift budget. I don't know. Should I count that as, as nail polish budget since it's not nail polish for me? I don't know. I think I might put that on my gift budget. So we'll see. We'll see how I manipulate my budget to my liking. But yeah, that's going to be it from me. Let me know what you guys are wishlisting and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.